Good evening, everyone. And joining me this evening is Squick. Yes, hello. That's me. Yeah. I'm here from the internet. It, it's been a long trip getting to the internet, but uh, now that I'm here, I gotta say, you've got like a nice internet sofa, and I'm real comfy. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself too. It all looks like it's a little bit off kilter, but you know, what can you do? I have the MT32 plugged in today with yes. Zid from Zid's Adventures sitting on top of it. Game hasn't come out yet, but they got the plushie for it because cool. And um, we're also going to uh, be playing it with the MT32 enabled, so you guys can see all the fun stuff there. I hurt my back today, so let's go. Oh my gosh, no, <laughs> that's not good. I hope you feel better, Zinthar. Zinthar, we are not licensed chiropractors. Probably. I mean, I'm not. I I I don't know how to do any of that. But anyway, we're going to play some more Space Quest, so hopefully that helps with your back problems. I don't, I don't know. Hopefully you yeah. feel better. The Adventures of Space Greg must continue. Yeah, tell you what, you sit back and relax. We'll take the heavy lifting from here. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game, and then everyone yes. will get a chance to see the fun little messages they put on the MT32. So pay it to, if you guys wanted to see, it's, this is what they do. Insert Buckazoid. <laughs> Space Quest 1. Sierra. Oh no. The sound changed. What do you mean? I do not get to hear it. What do you mean you don't get to hear it? I mean, it was working just fine when we tested it, like, ten minutes ago, and now it's decided, hmm, no, no. Squick does not require ears. Wow, Squick. Way to break my stream. Wow. Man, I'm just here to help provide... Broken um, everything! No, I see what your problem is. Uh, is it that things need to be clicked differently? No, th for some reason, Parsec muted it. It does this once every huh. stream. I have to check it, and I didn't that time, so there you go. Should work this time. If not, All right. I don't know. Hey, I can hear things. In yes. My ears. Indeed. Oh, now we're watching it. Sorry about that. I <laughs> fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it wouldn't be, uh, you know, a proper stream without some kind of technical hiccup. I know. I know. You know, like the number one there. Just, um... Like that happens. Very it does. Normal. I don't understand why that sign has a spinning basketball, but I dig it. Yeah, I know we can. He you could hear it, Vaughn, uh, but the problem was I straight up just didn't realize that Squick's side was muted because we heard it just fine a second ago, but for some reason now it decided not to work. It's just weird. Sometimes things happen. Ah, yes. Hello. Right, they were given a full color palette to play with, and boy, did they. And also the black and white barrel JPEG. It's a barrel yeah. in space. It is. Squick, you got to understand, you're sitting here, like, pointing things out, but you have to understand, it's in space. And sp Oh, you're right. I had not considered that. You are um, also, like, you, you have to get in the mindset of a man who is in space. So if you were in your own, like, 1950s, you know, schlocky sci-fi, this is it. This is your adventure, Squick. I would love to be in early schlocky sci-fi. I'd be really bad at it, but, you know. Oh, look, a Romulan Warbird. Oh, never mind, it's gone. No, you didn't see anything. It's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah, I couldn't see it because it, it, it cloaked. Yeah, of course. Yeah, dude just, like, elbow tapped the cloaking button. Chicken nuggets. Space Nuggets. So this version is not from the two guys from Andromeda? No, it is by by them. It's it's by Sierra. <laughs> Who else would make it? Why do they have a space rotisserie chicken? Like, I understand the bug thing. It's a bug. That's fine. Why are we in the space rotisserie chicken? We are in the space chicken. That I'm not disputing that. As Go we ahead. join our story. 
the crew of the Arcada. Okay. That name is going to fuck me up every Arcada. time. Arcada. Arcada. Arcada is returning home to Xenon after a successful mission, developing us the Star Generator. Exhilarated by the second paragraph of text, they moved ahead. And now the insect will hump the chicken. This is bad. <laughs> this is really... Even get your little, like, cool little tones. Of... <laughs> Man, that's really good. I know. It's fucking amazing. That that's normal. That happens. Go ahead. You're startled by the sound of an alarm. Breaking through it, the intercom crackles with the frightened voice of a technician shouting that the Arcadia Arcada has been boarded by unknown intruders. The transmission ends abruptly in a soundstorm of white noise, soon overtaken by the cold din of silence. Well, I'm going to say the same thing I said last time. That sounds like not my problem. Yeah, uh, totally. You have to click. I've, I've been trying. Does it not let um, you? Yeah, it's not letting me. Of course. of course. Of course. Not only is the sound not work, but nothing else does. <laughs> you hear Can you move the mouse? Voice. Um, yes. Okay. 15 minutes till detonation. Okay, now I can... Nope. Oh, I, you went back yeah. into your office. Okay. Hey, sweet. Does it let me, like, nap until destruction time? You've just stumbled into a small, dark, and very cluttered utility closet. Many things fall, and most of them land on you. It doesn't say much for your cleaning prowess. Man, I'm not here to clean. I'm here to sleep at a professional level. Yeah. Your legendary naps. All right, you need to... <laughs> You need to, I think I guess that's just like a way for you to hide. I don't know. All right, but yeah, we need to get, we need to go find the. It, it keeps fix. resetting my mouse position. I think to the monitor on your left. But why? I don't know. Space reasons. Try now. Is it still doing it? Uh, it is. It's resetting it to the monitor on my left. What the? Um, what the fuck? What's going on? I, I don't know. Give me one moment. I'm going to try something dumb. Okay. And if that fixes it, I'm going to be so moderately peeved. What did you do? I took it out of full screen mode. All right. Try it now. It you seems to be working. I think. I don't know. We're walking this way. Oh, hey, like Gratanimous. How's it going? Thanks for the courtesy. Welcome back. Remember, Space Greg... You talk to yourself and you, and as usual, learn nothing that you don't already know. I mean, that's that's fair, but imagine if I had learned things. That's true. Can I talk to the elevator? It won't let me talk to the elevator. Can I sniff the elevator? Oh, how if do you I smell after that closet? The odor you're producing causes you to regret skipping last month's shower. Oh my god, I regret. That's... Additional regret. Okay, fine. We'll... we'll... No, don't look at things. Just... Hand elevator. Remember, you still have to go get the cartridge. Yeah, but it wouldn't let me go left. Yeah, it will. Uh, it will? Yes. Okay. It So with Sierra games, you have to click exactly on the edge of the screen. Oh, right. I didn't click the pixel. You have to, yep. You have to click all the way to the edge of the screen, which means all the way to the left. Okay, the arrow keys work. That too. The arrow keys are also useful. You hear footsteps. Cool. Nope. I, I'm trying not to. Well, if you use the mouse, you probably have a better chance. You just have to... Look, I'll show you. You have to click right on the edge, like as far as it'll go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The hell is that... Nope. Nope. Fuck off. I've left the room. Everything's safe forever. Talk to um... the robot. Sniff robot. I wouldn't be violating his airspace if I were you. You know, it is hovering. I had not fully considered that. Okay. All right, Grantonimus. Had a crap day at work, but the kids are asleep. I'm 100% ready for cozy nonsense. All right. It doesn't hey, respond to for. human voice commands. It only works through the data archive console. I'm going to lick it. You're going to... I wouldn't be violating his airspace if I It won't I let me use any orifice on the robot. This is bullshit. Well, maybe it's just this robot doesn't want that kind of thing. Maybe you think about that. 
I, you know, that's fair. That's <laughs> we have a graphic broken. of us using the computer. <laughs> the screen is visibly broken. We are not using a damn thing. Listen, but we are winning at Jeopardy. Or oh, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the slot machines. <laughs> All right, let's try going out the left door. Remember, you have 12 minutes to get out of this ship. Right, I have to walk. Yes. Not you can also use the right mouse button. Oh, the door opens. A man you recognize as one of the head lab scientists stumbles into the room. He appears to be in serious need of some abodo seal ab abdomen filler. <laughs> abdo seal <Wow>. abdomen filler. <laughs> That's, you know, the clues in the name. It does what it says. The, the, um. the, oh, <laughs> he looks like he's sneaking in here. After only a few, steps, uh, few steps, he hits the floor with a disconcerting thud. And did he win the fight against those two out there? No. Oh, yeah, he looks... Uh, Wait, he's shape. pointing. Talk to him. You can hit the right mouse button to switch between Lick. icons. You wouldn't want to do that. Trust me. Oh, that's, that's handy. Yeah. A large laser hole has been burned into his uniform, giving you a nice view of previously unexposed tissue. Struggling painfully, he props himself up one on one elbow. This sounds real uncomfortable. Let's talk to him. His lips move. Fancy. Can we hear sound? Oh, oh the, that's a close-up I didn't need. The star generator is in danger. The Arcada is under attack. You better get off this scow if you value your life, Wilco. Who the fuck is Wilco? Just before his systems uh, cease all functions short of decay, he looks over toward the shelves full of cartridges and utters, Van Allen belts. With one last gasp, his life form slumps to the floor. Van Allen belts. Did you get That's that, Squick? Sound... Yeah. Hold on, Squick. We have to go to our handy dandy S Space Quest manual. Oh, okay. Have you never done this little dance before? Oh god, is this the coffee protection dance? What? You've n you've heard of this? <sighs> ah, here we go. Sector codes. We're gonna need those. Wait, where's the other one? There's there's gotta be. Wait. Uh, oh wait, they had a pronunciation guide. Wait, where? Um, uh, uh, right, one of the pages. There, Arcada. Okay, Arcada. It's been fi yes, it's been. <laughs> we found out Arcada. Excellent. Now we have learned. Ah, here we go. Van Ellen belts. That's the code. Very well, Squick. Tht kabang. All right, go okay. for it. Type in Tht kabang. Um, here we go. T. T H T. Um, that bang and enter. <laughs> cartridge found. Now retrieving. Well done. You got the cartridge. Hooray! See, now I did a game test. That's how I know of this. How this works. So now you know That's... to use the manual. <laughs> All right, I now it's time to cartridge. get the fuck out of here. It's the same thing we did in the last game. Let's uh, let's full screen that so you can click on stuff. Walk, remember, walk. Yes. All the way to the edge Operation of the screen. Operation fucking book it is now in play. It's out, out the door. All the way to the edge Keep of the going. screen. Hold on, one sec. I'm going to alt, or just alt enter for a sec so I can minimize this thing so I can see what you're doing. Uh, uh, hearing footsteps. Why did they... Oh, they sound like really angry basketballs. Let's go into that door. Failing to notice anyone or anything in the room, the Sarian guards re decide to check elsewhere. Way to go, Roger. Hell yeah. Yes, we are playing the remake now. Oh yeah, that looks fine. Dun dun dun! The star um. generator has been destroyed! Oh, I thought this was the pizza oven. You find a small but heavy device affixed to the base of the star generator platform. 
It appears to be magnetic. That must be how the aliens have set the force field protecting the unit. Ah. I we definitely think I need, need this. We probably need this, considering in the la in the uh, re the first version of this game we played, the force field was was not really. It was a kind of like we had to go disable it somehow. Remember, edge of the screen. I mean, we wrote in like this. Ah. dude, that's not. Look, go to the right. Oh, never mind. Take the elevator. This elevator is now mine. I will not be returning it. I just wait for him to leave. Failing to notice. Yep, yeah, there we go. Way to go. Hooray! <laughs> we are masters of stealth. Yeah, they got the Rathacon alert sign. I saw that. Excuse me. You mean Space Greg? That droid was great. I love the droid, man. Just <laughs> That droid has They're been They're just me having a mild panic at 70 miles an hour at head level. We've all done that at work before. Yeah, I mean, really, it's understandable. You hear footsteps. I would go into the elevator. Don't don't run away. I I do not want to deal with this. But you have you scary. Just, you just have to trust yourself. Also, save your game. Um. Yes. No, that's no, that's a backpack. But you can see your items now. Oh, we got fancy magnets, some boxing gloves, and like a lunchable snack pack well, of alcohol. On, click on the eyes and see what they actually are. Three buckazoids. Oh, man. Like a high roller. It's a genuine widget. You're not sure what it does, but it's heavy. It looks cool, and it might be magnetic. Please keep this away from the game discs. The, it's a cartridge from the Arcada's, uh, Arcada's data archive. I mean... All right. Cool. Which one of those? I would just go. I would go into that door. Just go into the door. Don't worry about the footsteps. Just go into the door. Door selected. Zoop. Uh, is that a? Is that blood or is that like a classy carpet? Also, how how? It's safe? shiny. Uh, so hit the little menu on the right next to the question mark. And then hit save. Huh. And then the scope. Wait, there's a detail slider. Yes. There is a detail uh, slider, but it is shiny. <laughs> it's a very shiny floor. Shiny equals blood. Those are probably yeah, like I mean, frozen fruit sticks, maybe. I mean, that makes sense. If you're in space anyway, and you've got a lot of cold hanging around, you may as well make frosty pops on the floor when the robots are all hovering anyway. Are you guys playing with the voices? I remember liking the sound of the narrator. I don't think there's a... We don't have voices. This is a copy of the game that doesn't have any voices at all. What's the eyeball machine? The otter pop floor. Yeah, exactly. Materials testing. I wish to test the materials. You can't go that way. Um, yeah, you'll have to go through. I want to. You can go that way. You need... This place looks like a monument to Soviet computer hardware miniaturization. At one time, it served as a development facility for the star generator, but that was in the early phase of the project. Why is this all on a ship with, like, five dudes on it? It's like Space Station 13. On the screen is some green dude you've never seen the likes of. He seems to be talking, but the audio is out in the area of the ship. Oh. You hear footsteps. I, no, no, no. All right, get across yeah. this floor. Just get to the get to the bay. You have the cartridge, right? Wait, no, I need to talk mad shit. Boy, you're lonely. You hear footsteps. <laughs> I feel like I'm being punished for being dumb, and that's fair. But we never actually figured out what sector we need to go to, so we'll, I guess we'll hopefully find out. It's got that sickly red 40 food die color. Just keep going, Squick. They're going to do this every single time. There's no. It's not like the last game. You get shot in this one. Oh, no. The oh. aliens observe their handiwork briefly before looking for others to process in similar fashion. I mean, do they just not speak self-destruct? <laughs> Read that, Squick. As you lie on the floor in a smoldering... Oh. Carbogelatinous Carbogel Carbogel heat. <laughs> you can't help but wonder why you bothered getting up this morning. That's a fair question. <laughs> um, but if you're wondering anything after receiving um, quite so extreme a uh, transcranial piercing... 
<laughs> hey, Ether. Thanks. 69. Nice. Welcome back. Nice. But yeah, I didn't know there, if there was like a voiced over version. I don't know. I've never didn't. I, this is the very first game. This isn't Space Quest 3 or 6 or whatever. This is literally the first one uh, that they made in VGA. I don't know if there's voices for it. Otherwise, I would ha totally have the narrator do the voices. I don't want to do them. Space Greg, you're killing me. Okay, so there's clearly something we've missed. Who knows what this is? Hmm. The hand lets you use the items in your inventory. Ah, okay. That's the cartridge for the ship we remember from the first game. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what one might do because it, either this is a continuous pattern or I'm like. You gotta do something. Here. You're not soft locked. Yeah. Well, no. <sighs> yeah. All of my words have abandoned me. I have to do something, I suppose, to distract them. We can interact with this device. Uh, can I give it a dollar? Yeah, give it a dollar. You have to click the item. There you go. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Fair. Okay. I just realized all that ro low rumbling and everything is coming from the MT32. Oh, I hadn't realized that at all. That's that is good. Okay, what's that? The monitor gives a readout about the ship's status. Only the lab scientists really know uh, knew exactly what it monitored. Okay. Let's try going upstairs. Let's see if we missed anything up there. Because you have six minutes to get the hell off this ship. Mark, yeah. hold your magic. Grantanus well, just gave it. some money too. Thanks, sixty-nine. Nice. Yes. Uh, I would uh, go to the right. I agree, but I must find my legs. There's another hallway aboard the Arcada. There is an elevator door nearby. Oh god, it's gonna okay. Can you climb so through the either... hole? Uh I don't think so. Use your hand on it. Nope. Alright, looks like you're gonna have to walk around. Hey, one should attempt to manipulate oneself in a family game. <sighs> I'm gonna go lick the dead guy. Hey, that is your prerogative. As a spaceman, you can lick as many dead guys as you like. You hear footsteps. They're going to come down here, so you need to get the hell out. This is Stuart, one of your crewmates. He appears to be non-functional. Used to kid about it when he was alive, but now it's true. Let me walk. Game, you're killing me. Go up to the top. If you're, if you're struggling, if you need to get it quickly, then you just go to the top. You're, You're okay. killing me far more literally than I might prefer. Did that guy have anything on you him? You need to go to the top level. What does that mean? You're oh, on the bottom right. level. Yeah, I, I realized that. <laughs> Crow, I have four brain cells, and they're not good at what they do. <laughs> <laughs> Who put Five a window? Minutes. Five minutes. All right. Well, we'll get there. Just keep okay, on, so go keep on, on trucking. Here. You got this. You need to keep moving. There is no, like... I think they in the have four minutes left. Tell him to fuck off from the ship. Can you look at that map back there? This is a star chart. It was used for locating candidates to test the star generator on once uh, on once the bulk of the development process once uh, complete. Um, let's try using it. Okay, so just hand board. Anything. Hand brain. Cartridge board. Nope. All right, this room sucks. Yeah, I hear footsteps. Whatever. Tell them to make an appointment. Just download more time. Timer looks IBM compatible. You're right. That makes sense. Maybe that guy right there has something you need? He is at the end In of a... Oh, you know what? He has a key card, remember? But you have to get to the other side of that. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. You have to go. So you're going to have to walk all the way around this ship in order to get We're what you want. We're going to have to reload. Yeah. You have an icon Thanks. that tells oh, you about God. other icons. Oh, grumble. Okay. So we're at halftime. We've got to go 
up the up tube. Yep. Then you can't go right, right, but you will need to just for this one moment, and then go back left because that's the guys up there. Yeah. So keep going. Stop even if you even if you hear footsteps, just go. You're gonna get murdered by dudes. They're gonna be real jerks about you it. You have a lot more time than you than you know when they come on the screen. You're fine. It's just the stomping, because I remember, I think in the MIDI version of this, they don't have footsteps, like a sound effect. Mm. So you you literally have to like, uh, just then you know, up or left. Let's go up, and then left. <laughs> There he is. It's all that remains of Jerry, one of your few techno dudes aboard who sometimes tolerated your company. Your low clearance excluded you from visiting him during the performance of his duties in the elegant lower level airlock of the Arcada. Um, that raises so many more questions. Oh yeah, well, let's take a snuff. You search Jerry's body and find a key card. Thanks, Jerry. Hell yeah, key that's, card. That's probably what we needed. He smells like Jerry. Good to know. I don't think you really want to taste Jerry, but then who knows? That's fair. Well, we've exhausted our options. Time to go back downstairs. Yep, you just go to the right. Don't worry, the footsteps will be second floor. I'm very worried. Pro, they have guns and poor decision-making skills and basketball feet. That's true. Just put, who put a window on an interior wall in a hallway on a space station? Well, people who like to see what other people are doing, I guess. Doesn't look like whoever designed the space rotisserie chicken knew exactly what to put where. I mean, it's a science ship, so they have to have room for the science. You got out of there just in time, man. Yeah, fortunately, they haven't mastered um, elevator technology Fortunately, for space. Tube. Space Greg is actually pretty slow. Oh no, they totally still come. Why? I okay. don't can we hide behind something in there? Can we use the key card to lock the elevator? Oh, good point. Signs point to no. Signs point to no. Oh wait, no, there's the dangus thingy. Oh, no. Unfortunately, no. Saving now you have the key card would be wise. Yes. We could, we could probably do a lot in five minutes. We're going to die. <laughs> Seems reasonable. Um, okay, so let's walk over here. I mean, magnet TV? Yes, yeah, you can try that. I hear footsteps, whatever, fine. Nope. Okay, let me walk. <laughs> this maneuvering is so annoying. Right, and we determined that this man will not run for any reason. No, running, it takes a lot of energy. You gotta conserve your energy. So what if we go over here and then magnet? No. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna try running. We'll try try using try. Oh use wait, there's gonna be like a hiding spot up there. You think? I bet. Yeah. Can you use your hand to hide? Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's good. I'm sneaky, fuck you. Failing to notice anyone or anything in the room, the Sarian guards decide to check, check elsewhere. Way to go, Roger. G space Greg. Four Sneaking minutes. intensifies. Yeah, What's that weird again. brick? You have a face. Okay, can I use the control? Oh. Sorry, it's just an incredibly funny machine. Maybe we just need to leave? Yeah, I think you're right. Hey, thanks for the courtesy. Welcome back corner hide. Thanks for the follow. Hey, dwarf man. Ooh. 
These buttons fancy. are locked in position. It's probably just as well. You might live longer due to having no clue as to their purpose. But I want to button them. These are locked down. They won't help you in any way. Let me press button. Elevator. Fine, what's that? Remember, we have to get down the elevator. We have three minutes, Squick. Oh, no. I, I need to look at the thing. You always meant to ask one of the technician what this thing is. However, you procrastinated a bit too long in this case. It's either an ocean in a bottle or a model of your stomach as the deadline draws near. All right. We march. Uh, we keycard elevator because it's going to get mad if we don't, probably. Yes. Be like, ho ho, you didn't keycard the elevator, and now your face explodes. No, don't keycard your own face, Space Greg. <laughs> you slide the keycard into the slot, the lock releases with a satisfying click, and the elevator doors slide open. Hell yeah. You descend down and touch the Star Trek original series. <laughs> See, what does this machine do? The control panel has many confusing gauges on it. The only one you can read says, caution, launch bay decompressed. Three minutes. That seems bad. There are no controls on this panel. It is populated only by gauges and readouts. Kill detonation. A spacesuit hangs in the closet. A helmet sits on the top shelf. Hmm, I feel like we should wear those. Indeed. There we go. You got your space helmet. Oh, look at My that. My God, he put the helmet on himself. That's amazing. Like, we didn't have to individually tell him to zip up everything. And, oh, hello. What up, weird guy? Some alien anchor being is broadcasting a message about the stolen star generator. An anchor being. Can I yell at him? No. no. Fine, okay. We should probably figure out how to spaceship. Indeed. Ah! God <laughs> damn it, Space Greg. Sierra? Sierra? I know you can't see through space and time, <laughs> but I want you to imagine your user base. Yeah. And there are a number of gestures, Sierra. Yeah. <laughs> And I want you to experience them because I'm making it as hard as I can. Not like that. That was a poor choice of words. Um, <laughs> but wow, yeah, that is some premium artificial gravity. Was that scream run through the MT-32? No, I think that's actually because the voice clips actually are all uh, digital. Okay. Yeah, all, I just, all the voice clips are... I don't know, like, maybe, maybe Roland had a scream library? No. <laughs> Nothing that cool. They have birds and stuff. Spaceship hmm. noises, obviously. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. like that's from the MT-32. MT-32 space noise. Five minutes till detonation. Looks like, I'm sorry, there was no version with voices. Yeah. Said, like, I... I mean... can't see me because I'm sneaky. Yeah. Way to go. <laughs> space Greg. Space Greg. So doing far, you're doing really Greg well. Things. It's weird knowing the shape of the puzzle. But not the solution. Not necessarily the puzzle itself. Keycard slot door open elevator down. <laughs> Also, what's in that yellow thing there next to the door? I, I don't know, like warm towels? Let's take a look. There's a button above the rectangular object below. Oh, you know we're pushing that. You notice some sort of gadget in the drawer. Did, we collected we the gadget. It? Yes. Hell yeah. Now we should look at the gadget and perhaps turn it on. This is some sort of gadget. You're not sure exactly what it does, but it has a switch. We do actually know what it does. You switch the gadget on. <laughs> and that's the sound. Oh, there's there's homage and there's shameless theft. But at least they're stealing the good stuff. Yeah, you switch the gadget on. Hell I don't, yeah, and I don't, like it's an OG communicator. I would turn it off. But why? It makes sound. 
because it might drain the battery and it's used at the end of the game, remember? From the last time we played, we literally beat this last week <laughs> to conserve its energy. Oh, okay, fine. I'm trying to save you from soft locking yourself. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like hella dumb and it's never stopped me before. That's why I'm here. And I appreciate that. Ah. Now let's go into the giant death baguette. Every time I get screwed over an angel, uh, in a Sierra game, an angel gets its wings. This is why every angel gets has at least three uh, sets of wings. Wow. Uh, ex examine? A giant silver pill-shaped pod sits poised to fire, much like a bullet in a chamber of an ancient pistol. I'm not sure they understand how any of that works, but fair. I have fisted oh, the look. egg ship. All right, it's time to get going. Uh, I, I tried to lick the thing, and it didn't like that. The seatbelt is dummy-tested, which ought to suit just you just fine. <laughs> ah, yes. Applicates. Wow, that was some arm movement. Seatbelt. Okay, now we use cartridge. No, we use the... We use the thingy. Well, look at the console first. But no, that's for nerds. Inside of the Arcata's luck escape pod is not exactly packed with luxurious appointments. However, when it comes to saving one's posterior, this pod is as good as a rolls. Ooh. There's your, oh look, there's your kit back there too. Dials galore populate the instrument panel of this thing. What's that say? The survival kit contains the basics for deep space survival. Oh, Three that's... minute kill detonation. Oh. Uh. uh. The option works better with the power on. Well, where's the power? Try pressing another button. You give up after one? Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, some stuff there. Can you pull the lever? Oh, can I cartridge it? The cartridge is for something else later on. Remember, it's a computer. You will need to leave the launch bay first. Okay. This option works when, only when you're clear of the Arcata. Oh, all right. I'll grab joystick. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Guess those doors wow. are, are as strong as they look. <laughs> 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 well okay okay that's that's fair um it, it's not but sure at least it's hilarious <sighs> okay so you're good you're good i think i think you had the right idea with the area uh with the control panel that had all the keys locked or whatever I because okay. remember in the, the last game, the original, yeah. yeah, it was like observation area. Yeah, I think I think that yeah, I think that was where it's at. It's just we did, probably didn't click on it because you I, don't see me. I'm sneaky. All right. Uh, save early, save often, says Lucian Thornbow. Very true. Thanks for playing. As usual, you've been real paint load, a real pant load. <laughs> is, wow. Is that no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go downstairs yet. Try the... Uh, oh, what about the look window. Oh. Through this window, you can see into the pod bay. A pod sits waiting on the launch track. The large bay doors are currently closed. Any of these buttons. Oh, uh -huh. my God. You found them. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> that is good advice. Let's try and avoid falling to our turbo death again. Salty, salty pug lord says thanks for oh yeah that's what we just read that yeah <laughs> i love that part of i shall key card the elevator all right here we go going back downstairs wait so the airlock control is outside the security zone bold well interior Four minutes. i'm assuming Ten. you have to do a lot more to get from the exterior because if someone goes through the airlock on the interior you have to trust people do you really think they're going to want to go out in space? I mean, I think whether or not they want to is irrelevant if I have the door control. That's true. 
Greetings, Meet Greg, Genshin. Meet Squick, and Meet Crow. Greetings, Bolo Unit BRL. Misericorder Miser says, uh, you can't just Kool-Aid man your way out of every situation, Squick. I disagree. Did Mean Streets get taste from Sierra? I don't think so. I don't know who invented taste or smell or whatever, but it's definitely in the 1989 <laughs> game Mean Streets. We have found out we, get, we can get poisoned by many things. I remember in my original playthrough of Full Throttle, um, there were a lot of things that you couldn't lick. Like, they got mad. All right. Okay, so now we blip the thing, and then we grab the schwang stick. As you slide the throttle forward, you can feel the arcada, arcada start to shake. Oh, yeah, they got out of here, too. Oh. Well oh, done. That is unfortunate for them. All right, save your game. Okay, so save your game. Save your game before you touch anything else and break it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I do this with Mecha every time. She's, like, immediately like, ooh, new item in the room. And then it's like, dude, wait, wait. you got to save your game. <laughs> I mean, it's it's it feels like I'm constantly like uh, it's like the person who's like you got to take the trash out and you're like oh yeah I know but yeah it's fine I got like stompy feet you have a feeling oh. you shouldn't have pressed that button well maybe someone should have labeled it oh oh um is that not the expected result of pressing a button because that's definitely it... the right button oh. Oh, we... Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, are right. are we going to Daventry? Bonk. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now we're a problem. Well, now it's time for another King's Quest Space Quest. <laughs> Ouch. I think we've got some serious organ damage here. All of them, of course. You could easily be replaced in a time period from which you just arrived. However, a quick scenery check reveals that you are now in the Dark Ages... The only transplant you'll get here is from the carcass to spit over flame. <laughs> it's probably fine. As you draw the final few lungfuls of oxygen through your newly acquired sucking chest wound, you gleefully notice your final resting place is near beautiful Nottingham Castle, universally renowned for its inclusion in Sierra's Conquests of the Longbow, another <sighs> game in their series. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Sierra. you're shocked to hear some highly inflammatory language making its way into your auditorial canals. It must be for some uncivilized ruffians in a nearby pub. Go ahead, Squick. Well, you're dead again. We even warned you not to push that button. You're no one to blame but yourself. You did not warn me at any point, game. You, you could have looked at the buttons. You looked Why? at the panel but not the buttons before you pressed them. <laughs> their buttons you don't look at them you just you follow your instincts and they make a satisfying click you have no one to blame but yourself for having to sit through a plug for another fine sierra product <laughs> maybe you'll follow directions next time thanks for playing and all that stuff yeah faster than lsd <laughs> <laughs> all right look at the button okay, fine i'm i'm looking at the button with my tongue that's the same thing for a snake. This button is not to be pushed at any time in all caps. Fine. This is the auto nav button, which is uh, which, when operative, it allows the pod to navigate to the closest habitable planet. Okay, well, what was that button? Power. Why? Who designed this panel? Corona. Sure, that seems good. It's okay, man. You did it. Yeah. Do you feel like a hero now, Squick? Oh, yeah. Like, definitely someone who woke up from a nap when they didn't want to and then stole from their coworkers and left for the day. Yeah, Space Greg's adventures continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you they have done a lot 
to improve quality of life. Thank you for flying like, Arcata Gateway Pod Lines. It's nearly been a pleasure serving you. Tell a friend if you've got one. They did a lot. I, they really did. Quality of life so far. This has been amazing. Like there have been less moments of painful gotcha and more. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. That's fair. <laughs> okay. Perhaps if I undo seatbelt, it will not execute me for the crime of using... Oh, I guess we're done inside then. Um, There's a random pixel there that's totally not something you could pick up, I'm sure. Yeah, I feel like somebody showed up to their office and just had a throwdown over the original release. And then somebody got the, uh, the minutes from that. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, they picked up the thing. Very good. Now we should examine the items, such as a survival kit and... A highly reflective piece of broken cockpit glass. Uh, why don't you yeah, open... That definitely... That shouldn't have broken. No. Open box. You got your Xenon army knife and a canister of dehydrated water. Excellent. Now you can see these things up close. The can label says Pelvitron Dehydrated Water H2. All you had is air. Makes 10 gallons. Caution, do not attempt to open or rupture container. Misuse could consult in personal injury and or flash flooding. That raises so many more questions. Well, I'm sure it just raises one, really. <clears throat> the amount of questions you have are probably just easily can contained down to one which is why <laughs> what no not that it's clearly labeled hydrogen this is a container of hydrogen by what system did they find it more efficient to pack water like this than i maybe because is it liquid hydrogen no. but then the amount like you're not gonna pump 10 gallons of Crow, this bottle is terrifying, not only through the fact that it exists, but the implications of the manufacturing industry behind it. That's true. And this is a common enough item to be in a survival kit. It is a common item. I don't, see, this is the problem. I don't know what you're complaining about. I, I feel it's like... 10 gallons <laughs> of liquid hydrogen gas. Liquid hydrogen? Condensed into less than 10 gallons of space. Physics gets very angry when you do this. I, look, it's all the vitamins and minerals you need to survive in a desert environment. It will cause you to explode twice. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't ask for seconds, but two explosions? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> no. Just stop asking for seconds on explosive turbo compression. I'm going to save the game. <laughs> Everyone... <laughs> <laughs> so nice you'll detonate twice <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm just like coughing over here oh, oh I mean that's why you don't have the water yeah I have water here actually oh that's why I was coughing went down the wrong pipe all right do you remember the direction space Greg Nope. The lovely crisp green of the Coronian atmosphere reminds thee that you will need to do some laundry when or if you get back home. Do showers like once every other month. I don't think that's high on the priority list. The pod's windshield is cracked beyond repair. The built-in plasti seal film between the glass layers managed to keep the shield in place with one minor exception. Despite the shocks from all the landing, if that's what you want to call it. Acceptable. It's also like this, like, Star Trek space. You get the yeah, little like, bubble helmet and like everything. Pseudo... Yeah, and then... <gasps> Look, can you fucking don't, my dude? Ooh. I got places to be that are, like, on top of this giant skeleton. So I don't get eaten. I'm definitely going to get eaten. Yeah, so the wind noises are from the, the game. This is the north-central boundary of a massive skeletal structure surrounded by an arid terra not so firm up. No, don't... Stop taunting the death lizard. 
I have faith in you, gentlemen. I'm sure you can down a drown in air. I once had pneumonia and bronchitis. You can nearly drown in your own lungs. Yeah. That's true. Bolo's got a point there. And Bolo, you're not supposed to do that. Like, the soup is specialty pro What are you? Examine. It's, it looks interesting, although hard to tell from where you are standing. It may be a sign. If you get closer, maybe you could read it. It looks like a pennant. Your words hitch a ride on the Coronian breeze, never to be heard again. You know what this game reminds me of? Like, in a weird roundabout way. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen um, the film, the uh, foreign film, largely known as Turkish Star Wars? Yeah. Uh, the man. Okay. Yeah. I, I it dude, reminds I, me we of watched that the, desert planet. Well, also like it, it's it. We watched um, uh, what is it? War of the Stars at the meetup, if you remember. I did not get to see that. I was doing. I must have been doing something else at the time. Yeah, I think you left the room that day. Okay. Unfortunate. Well, all right. Well, let's get closer to it then. Yeah. Well, well, I'm trying, but there's a skeleton in the way. We'll go around it. I can't just go around things. What do you think this is? Space? No. It's actually a desert. You just probably have to go around until you find a way to get up there. Mm, mm, this was not in the original game. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot an object hurtling from the greenish atmosphere toward the perched surface uh, you currently occupy. Oh. Run, Skrick. Run. I'd love to. <gasps> Rats! If the eyes don't deceive, that's a Sarian spider droid. They must have detected the escape pod leaving the Arcata. The spider droid must have been sent along to settle any unfinished business. Uh-oh. You better run. After the jarring impact, the small panels open through the legs sprout. You recall reading an old issue of Space Piston Magazine that this droid was designed to seek out organic life forms and destruct when close proximity to the target has been achieved. Run. I'm, no, running da, 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 is da, da, illegal da, da, and da, forbidden. Da, 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 but I will casually meander. Walk away, Squirt. Don't die. Oh. Do, 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 that was a T-Rex skull. Sir, I'm going to need you to fuck off and respect my personal space, <gasps> please. No, don't fall. Really? Don't fall, Squirt. Really? Run. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did... What? Don't worry, Squick. Just run. I'm very worried. Run. He's doing weird things. I... Good right. job, us? I think? Yeah. Crow, I don't know if we did a good job or not. I'm... Oh, there's the miss... <gasps> Be careful. Save your game. This is the broken bridge. This is the rock. Oh, right, but it's not made out of dirt. It's, um... it's bone this time. Which means we have to go back down there into that cave. Do it! Push it now! I, I have to... The bone's a little dirtily, de utterly dehydrated. Bear too much mass for a puny likes of you to displace. Okay. It, don't oh, walk no, across you... that. Don't walk across it. Because if you do, you're going to die. Hey, you won't have that many chances, remember? There's nothing on the other side of that that we need, do we? Um. All right, let's go find out. There's only one way to find out. We did save the game. Uh, that's true. I'd say that the widening of those cracks is an excellent indication that this thing is not truly stable unit. And don't you hate the way it makes your brain bounce once the handball and all that spare cranial space? <laughs> No, it's fine. I wasn't using that anyway. What are you? Oddly enough, a plant grows isolated in spots of the unhospitable environment. <laughs> Interesting. The bones, although utterly dehydrated, still bear too much mass for the puny likes of yeah. you. Oh, wait, because you clicked the wrong pixel. It. Oh, oh no. My God. You clicked the wrong pixel. No, you're squid. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I hate it. You're right. No doubt about it, there's going to be an accident of one kind or another on this shaky piece of calcium-rich matter. Okay, let's reload. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Use the bone magnet. No, 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 not that low. Yeah, start from the top. No, no, here, you, you had it right. 
now. <laughs> because you were clicking okay. in the wrong place. Not that That's... I know that. I just realized that is a thing that I've had to deal no, with in every one of these right. games. So don't feel bad. Now. Oh, again, you clicked the wrong pixel. Oh, no. Yeah, you're not going to have time. No, stop. Space Greg. Space Greg. Use your time powers for good, not to... Too late. Oh, no, you got it. <gasps> Aha! Retroactively kabonk. Nice. Feast upon my explosion, knave. It was not known that you were a master of the protrusion toss. That was a fine effort. Yes. All right. Good. Let's save the game. That is an excellent call. You we did. should do that. Now let's go back down there and, and see if we can enter into that skull, if you remember from the last game. So far, you've had five deaths. Nice. That's, like, way less than last time, and I've tried to lick a lot more things. It's true. Retcon Kabonk is my new thrash metal band name. Nice. Bold of you to assume that the skeleton is dead and not an exoskeleton of a massive parasitic worm. Oh, that's true. You're like, no, no, no. Space Greg will not fall off and break his neck accidentally. Oh, he definitely will, but it's going to be like two minutes. <laughs> I like how like, you're oh, running you from it and you tripped in the sand. Like, that's such a horror movie. I, oh, I'm absolutely livid about that. But also fair. Uh, there was probably something on that thing we were supposed to read that says, like, hey, don't go on... Oh, right, right, I remember this part. Um, I cast fuck you. Orat, always in the mood for a snack, snatches the can out of the air with his spacious oral cavity, chews and swallows it. He notices a rumbling deep within his abdomen. And what we're getting here is a safety lesson regarding dehydrated water. The gleaming chunk of Orat's anatomy is the only visible proof that Orat ever existed. After that explosion, it's amazing that much is left. Did you look at the plaque? No, we didn't get that far. We had to climb the entire skeleton to get up to it. You reach down and take the Orat part in your hand. Some of it oozes to, uh, to fill the space between your fingers. They have surprisingly little to say, and if they did, would you really want to stay around to listen? I mean, look, given the number... I wonder what it smells like. Any scent these skulls may once had is long gone. Compliments to the incredibly hot, dry climate. <laughs> what? While you might be in the mood for a little skull, you got more <laughs> important businesses to attend to. But it admits I might be a cannibal, and, and that's better than we got before. He explode. What in the... Are you doing this time of night? It's very unlikely of you. It is. Well, I want to... Okay. We should save. We should. Oh, I forgot to put in thingy. No meat bot explosion. I thought you were going to type no uh, aura norad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, if you guys are wondering why we knew how to do that, it was because we literally played Space Quest EGA, uh, like, last week. And so we, a lot of what we can do is still in our minds, so we're going in this completely just off the knowledge it, of that game. It's half going in blind and half going in knowing all of the answers to the wrong thing. Yeah, which is great. It makes it a different flavor of challenge. Like, which, what information do we have that's still relevant and which will lead us to a new and fascinating way to die Actually, horrifically? Go back down there and pick that flower. What flower? Yeah, we saw them earlier. Oh, yeah, 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 off to the side. You are correct. You keep your company Look, on the I'm drive still... home. All right. I am a scare because there's the sandworm and it wants my feet and I'm not cool nah, with that. You're fine. Remember, it didn't come over oh, here. it wants my feet. It's going to eat me like a hot dog. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think you'll be fine. I don't know if this plant okay. grows isolated spot. Okay, let's grab it. Acquire plant, comma, definitely not poison. There was the some more as well. 
The plant's gonna explode. The skeleton's gonna eat us. You snag a small cluster of leaves from the gooey plant. Why is the plant gooey? Wait, what's he doing? Oh, dying horrifically. Oh, he's just pulling it off his hands. It's just sticky. The stuff sticks worse than Fortnite old undergarments. It's a good thing your gloves are Tefloid coated. That raises... You can't... Stop sciencing the uniform. It's Teflo coated. <laughs> Sleepy plant gloves. All right, we got the we got the gooey plant thing. Okay. This wasn't in the original game. We never had to pick I'm... a gooey plant up that I remember. Yeah, no, that's new. Um, Very... I don't know if that's good, but it's new. This thing has so many chicken wings on it. It's like a 400 piece off this one dead sandworm. No, I think it's a, I think it's a dragon. Well, still, that's a lot of chicken wings. That's true. Dragons are just uh, mythological chickens. I wish to dispute this statement, but I believe it may be fundamentally correct. I'd say, yeah, you already read this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bone bad. Chiropractor required. It still ain't us. Well, if it was sticky, why do you put it in his pockets? Can you actually open uh, your pockets? Okay. <laughs> it should be funny if it's like... Okay, if it stuck them closed, that would have been amazing. This is a, a piece of sticky, sticking, rotting plant. Oh, well, that's good. This cute little item is an Orat part. You're not sure what part, though. And we collected it because we're very strange. No more questions. And no slipping to death. Yeah, everything in your pockets is now stuck together. Yes, just use item. <laughs> They've been conglomerated. Chickens are just realistic dragons. Oh, that's a good one. That's the whole thing. Like, chickens used to be dinosaurs, and they have not forgotten. Yeah. <gasps> oh! No! Oh, secret skeleton hole! Womp. Hey, what's the deal here? That elevator doesn't lower. It sucks. That's, um... <laughs> uh... You ever see that video of the pigeon trap? Where it's just the cardboard box lid with a couple of rubber bands. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're the pigeon. Hmm. That's a good way to put it. Okay, examine rock. The stalagmite has obviously been broken loose previously and set back in place. Being responsible, most likely your Coronian counterpart, tried to fool everyone else by using some sticky gunk to hold it together. Like that would actually fool anyone. I feel like we should hand this. You flex those incredible muscles you wish you had, but you already, you're already you barely able to snap loose the previously fractured stalagmite tip. Excellent. I think that was uh, the rock you ended up having, because remember we had to get rocks in this yeah, area? Yeah, yeah. So that was probably what it's for. Because remember, okay, I remember so... last stream we were being told like we had to throw the stalagmite at the thing. I think they assumed it was this game. Because they probably never saw the EGA version. The EGA version has like way less cool controls as this one. Of course, the EGA version came out in 1986, and this came out in 1991. Lick death poison. <laughs> now, why did you have to go and lick the end of that thing? That was terrible. Didn't you get a clue from the nose message? Why would I smell something before licking it? Just rub your eyeballs on it. yell no okay we walk this is uh vga or S it's svga yeah uh... Ooh, this is at a 45 degree angle now yeah. <laughs> excuse me <laughs> excuse me the grade is, made... is made of metal yeah go for it it seems hmm? yeah no keep going sorry the grade is made of metal and seems to be fastened securely to the floor a strange tentacled beast lurks at the bottom of the pit. 
Well, let's see if we can, um... Oh, I guess mouthing the tentacle creature would be a bad decision. But let's see if we can use the same trick as last time. Use okay. your hand on it. Causes us to die. Or that works too. Never mind. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Apparently that is not permitted. You've been snatched out of existence by the tentacle beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Whoa. Oh, oh, that's not pretty. Don't stop now. We're having so much fun watching you. <laughs> that's concerning. Wow. It's, um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Can we climb over waist high wall? No, no. that is not permitted. Space Craig right. doesn't really want to do that. Can you use your hand on the wall to see Maybe if you like to look it? at this thing first? There's another large chamber in the underground complex. Paths run along the top and bottom ledges. Interesting. <laughs> Salty plug for me. This is fine. Get close. Uh, no, I don't think I will. All right. It smells great. Oh my god. I'm no no. It smells no. great, Squick. No, no. No. I refuse. That can't that's not it. You know what? I think this is How a good they? this is a good time to stop. <laughs> Let's end on that note. Oh, oh wow. That yeah, okay. It's that's almost fair. midnight here. I'm I hope my voice hasn't been carrying into the other rooms. We did finally get the wall fixed, so <laughs> Hopefully none of my voice travels into the next room. Hopefully not. But no, this that's a note we're not going to top. All right. Wow. All right. I, <laughs> hit quit the game. Quit the game. I want to show you the, uh, the ending, what it looks like. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit quit. Ba, ba, ba. quit. Thank you for playing Space Quest 1. You've been most entertaining. The two, <laughs> two dudes from Andromeda. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Nope, let me out of here. There we go. And then after it quits, this is what it says in the MT32 destruct sequence. There's a one buckazoid a day charge for overdue data cards. Indeed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us while we played Space Quest. Apologize if it was super late. We just wanted to get on it. Um, made a lot of progress. I mean, we're oh, we did, and I had a wonderful time. So, as always, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and hanging out with us. We'll be back again on Friday with some more, uh, I think, Sherlock No, no Sherlock Holmes, because my research is going on vacation, and I'm hiccuping, so it's time for me to go. Anyway, you guys have a good night. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on the Courtesy Flush. Take care, everybody. Have fun out there. <laughs>